Bonjour, I'm Vivian, and welcome to the beautiful Loire Valley of France, home to the world's most spectacular fairy tale castles. It is also the location of my home, a small neo Renaissance chateau which I share with my husband Simon, daughter Isabella, and whenever possible, friends and family. However, this is not our first chateau. For 17 years, we lovingly restored and adored a much larger castle until we decided to downsize. And now we are doing it all again, but this time on a smaller scale. So join us for some chateau fun, chateau life, chateau renovations, chateau travel, chateau food, chateau friends, and chateau love. Hello everyone and welcome to Florida. We are here for the wedding of my brother and it has been a whirlwind of a week. In the last episode, I introduced you to my father and we visited a glorious tropical garden. I also introduced you to my mother and you got to hear some of her wonderful musical talents as well as all of us having lots of laughs. You also got to meet one of my brothers, Justin, who is getting married in this episode and also many of you know my sister from previous episodes of Chateau Love plus her husband Mirko. You met some other friends. We had great fun cooking and I even brought over some gifts from France. If you're with us from the beginning, we actually started our videos during lockdown because it had been such a long time since we had seen any of our family or our old friends. And finally, for the first time in over two years, here we are. It is incredible to finally see everyone and to be able to introduce all of you to them as well. So delighted that due to Chateau Love, we now have so many wonderful new friends like you. It's just nice to be back with friends and family. And uh, it's really great that we're able to get out and to see everybody again after such a long time being locked down. So yes. it's a real pleasure. Come to Florida, they said. Yes. <laughs> the weather will be beautiful, they said. <laughs> you had snow in France in April. And Florida will be glorious. Oh, look. It's hailing. <laughs> They're big. Look, we could make a cocktail with those things. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I hope your roof is gonna be okay. I wanna show you one of our wedding gifts for my brother and his lovely bride-to-be Chelsea. This is an antique serving set from a company called Cartier du Puy in Blois. Blois is not far from where we live in the Loire Valley. And these have happily made it safely in my luggage all the way here to Florida. The detail is so lovely. And I also love how these vintage serving forks have this really cool little stand to help guide the cutting. And I can see them using these possibly for things like Thanksgiving and Christmas. So, does this make us uh, swamp rats? Swamp sisters. Swamp, swamp sisters. sisters is nicer, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly a, it's an elevated swamp experience. I think so, I think so. I hear that there might be wine and cheese on this, on this swamp and fest. And olives and raspberries. Oh, excellent. Look at the color of the light here in this water. This water is this color because of the second. Oh, that's fascinating. 
we're being very quiet because we're coming up on an alligator. Ashley promised me that there were no alligators on this creek. Just for me, the alligators. Apparently it was a cute little one, but wherever there's a cute little one, there's a big fat mama nearby. So we're trying to get out of here. Don't you think it's smart for me to try to film an alligator when I'm about to run over an alligator? I think it would be smarter for you to see where you're going so that you don't hit the alligator. Um, why don't you take a break for a second? Break a second. <laughs> the turtle. Look at his feet sticking out. And now we're gonna pull up and have a little picnic. As you might imagine, getting together with my father a few days ago was very emotional after having been apart for such a long time. We had a beautiful day at Lou Gardens, and then he surprised me with a gift that I really wasn't expecting. These are two tapestry needlepoints that were created by my great-grandmother and hung in the bedroom of my grandmother for as long as I could remember. And they are representations of two very famous paintings. The Blue Boy, which was a painting that was done by Thomas Gainsborough in 1770, and the other one is called Pinky, which was painted by a totally different artist, Thomas Lawrence, in 1794, which explains the differences in style and the slight differences in dress. Since 1922, both paintings have hung in the Huntington Library in California, where they face each other, which is why they're often associated with each other. However, growing up, I only thought of them as beautiful pictures that hung in my grandmother's bedroom. And so I can't wait to take them home and think of her very fondly, and of course my father, whenever I look at them. This is la vie well, I didn't just get my love of antiques and art from my father's side of the family. My mother also has beautiful things in her home that we grew up looking at. And here are just a few little things I wanted to show you, including a portrait of Isabella and me from a very long time ago. And this is a plate that I painted for my mother a couple of years ago in two different shades of Blue de Sèvres. And in case you think that modern houses in tropical climates can't have antiques, my mother can definitely prove you wrong with that as well. As you can see, she loves old chandeliers, old antiques. This lovely dogwood pattern belonged to my grandmother. Hand-painted porcelain, just like me, inlaid wood, always beautiful. My mother started playing the piano when she was seven as she grew up in Germany. This is the piano that she was given, and it's also the piano that my siblings and I also learned how to play piano on. And here is a beautiful picture of my mother when she was Isabella's age. I think the resemblance is uncanny. So this is what I gave my dad one year for Christmas, and you kids called him Daddo, of course, and he liked to paint, so we gave him this, and he loved it, and in all the various moves, he lost his little paintbrush, but I know you can fix that as clever as you are, and I thought you might like to have it. Oh, Mom, that's so sweet. Thank you. I love him. I remember him growing up. <laughs> yeah. And I love little porcelain figurines, and, uh, but mostly this one does remind me of Daddo. 
Thank you so much. This is this is over 300 years old. You're making it very hard for me to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at this. She's on top of the figure. You see her face. She's doing the cat eye thing. And she closes her eyes and like, oh, this is so nice. Oh, sweet girl. <laughs> How can I take my treasures home if you won't let me pack them up? And though I close my eyes, I see la One of the greatest things about coming back to visit my family is that I also get to see all of my old school friends. Hey Jody, what are you eating? A gyro. Yes? Okay. How do you think that's pronounced, Simon? It's it's well it's obviously something like Euro, but I think How do you it's maybe pronounce gyro it? or gyro. Joyro, gyro? Not gyro, no, because that's too obvious. Gyro. That's how it's written. Gyro? That's how it's written, so I'm gonna go with gyro. <laughs> Oh no, we can't take you anywhere. <laughs> Got the BFFs. How many years has it been? 30? 30. 35. 35 years for you and me. 30 for you guys. Are we still taking pictures? No, yeah. we're on video. video. <laughs> Thanks for the update. <laughs> So Bristol has just shown me something crazy. I haven't been here uh, for two and a half years. We are in Walgreens, uh, which is a drugstore, and um, there's a giant cooler behind us, which is doing really crazy things. I thought some of you out here might enjoy seeing this. Okay, so this is the cooler section of the drugstore here in Florida, and if we walk up to it, <gasps> look what happens. Oh, and, and then we step in front of it. Beer. You're hitting the beer. What happens right if we hit the beer? Okay, gotta stand. Oh, look what happens when we stand in front of it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Welcome to America, <laughs> land of convenience. <laughs> when you press me to your heart, I'm in a world apart. A world to get back together with old friends and family is very, very special. Here I am with my beautiful mother. We're getting ready for our, my brother's wedding. Are you excited? Yes. Very, very happy. I'm very happy you're here with me. I can't. <laughs> This is my other gorgeous brother, Jonathan. And I haven't seen him in two and a half years, and I'm so, so happy. <laughs> Me too. I love you, my brother. I love you too. You ready? I'm ready. You're ready. He's ready. He's looking ready. <laughs> Everyday words seem to turn into love. We are on our way to the wedding right now. We're all dressed up and ready to go. Yep. This is gonna be so exciting. I don't know if we're gonna be able to film at the actual wedding itself, although we do have some fun footage to show you. This is my beautiful niece, and she's about to open the gift that I brought her all the way from France. And we really, really, really hope that it's not broken. So this is from Isabella and Simon and me, and Isabella helped pick this out. And we had to get it for you because we thought it evoked your spirit and it looks just like you. Oh. Believe it or not. I'm not sure what that means. You will see. And be careful because it is breakable. Please don't be broken. Oh. Oh, this is 
It's just short hair. Just like <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, from a company called Yadra, which is a Spanish porcelain maker. But this is this is a vintage one. So I thought so, so I thought funny. she was grand. She and, is. And she's got your she's got your the exact saucy same attitude the and the exact same haircut. <laughs> and look at her face too. You have exactly the same face. That was very thoughtful. Thank I love you. you. <laughs> little van behind us is oh, no, no, for no, no. photos so we're gonna go in and take some crazy photos at the photo booth these are so great show me here you go look it's got to get warmed up these are good yeah the first trip was just to get started oh i like it see it's them good yeah this is very sweet this is a little memorial hut i guess you'd call it to the people that can't be with us at this wedding oh this is so beautiful and i'm so glad it's all outdoors because the weather here in florida is perfect and this is always a very welcome sight <laughs> And a very American buffet menu. Mm. Some of this I've never tried before. It's going to be fun. I love the color. And such exquisite flowers everywhere. I love the topiary forms. Well, Florida, it has been grand. I wish we could stay longer, but we promise to come back soon. Meanwhile, we have a lot of work to do at the Chateau, and I promise all of you out there, our next video is going to be 100% Chateau renovation related, but we couldn't pass up this opportunity. to your heart I'm in a world apart a world where roses bloom and when you speak angels sing from above everyday words seem to turn
着。